With good reason, Western media is overflowing with news of the war in Ukraine. The cacophony of discourse, analysis and speculation is hard to process. It's a Babel tower wired for sound, and much of it is deceptive. Poetry can be as deceptive as any other form of art. But as with creators of computer viruses, imposters and deceivers don't waste their time on small platforms. Vivid truth can still be found in poems. So instead of the plethora of YouTube punditry, I thought I'd sample some Ukrainian poets for today's reading. These are two poems by Seri Zidane, a contemporary Ukrainian poet and novelist who attracts crowds to his readings and book launches. The translators are John Hennessy and Ostap Kin. As if this winter never happened. As if this winter never happened, we had no expectations, no worries, hadn't listened carefully to the loudspeakers of December, hadn't halted motionless before the orchestra truth of blizzards. As if it wasn't us who prepared for the power of ice, born out of lovelessness. As soon as the damp cursive of thaw appears in the air, the world explodes like a crowd shown the severed head of a tyrant. Eternal the fire above the meadows, eternal our devotion to the open heart of the river. And the first to wake up are always the booksellers at street markets as they lay out their treasures along the city's bridge. And poets are already looking around in the wind from their old wet anthologies, swollen like pillows, chucked out of the school programme, but not banished from life. They react to the laughter, to the farewell rustle of snow under boots. They adjust their ties, warm up between covers. Poets whom no one trusts, poets from the history of literature. Betrayed by lawyers, left by wives, those who drowned, hanged themselves. Suicides. They tell their biographies, cultivate in us the love of life. So I'll talk about it. So I'll talk about it. About the green eye of a demon in the colourful sky. An eye that watches from the sidelines of a child's sleep. The eye of a misfit whose excitement replaces fear. Everything started with music. With scars left by songs heard at fall weddings with no other kids my age. The adults who made music, adulthood defined by this, the ability to play music, as if some new note responsible for happiness appears in the voice, as if this knack is innate in men to be both hunter and singer. Music is the caramel breath of women, tobacco-scented hair of men who gloomily prepare for a knife fight with the demon who has just crashed the wedding. Music beyond the cemetery wall, flowers that grow from women's pockets, schoolchildren who peek into the chambers of death. The most beaten paths lead to the cemetery and water. You hide only the most precious things in the soil, the weapon that ripens with wrath, porcelain hearts of parents that will chime like the songs of a school choir. I'll talk about it, about the wind instruments of anxiety, about the wedding ceremonies as memorable as entering Jerusalem. Set the broken psalmic rhythm of rain beneath your heart. Men that dance the way they quench step fire with their boots. Women that hold on to their men in dance like they don't want to let them go to war. Eastern Ukraine, the end of the second millennium. The world is brimming with music and fire. In the darkness, flying fish and singing animals give voice. 
in the meantime. Almost everyone who got married then has died. In the meantime, the parents of people my age have died. In the meantime, most heroes have died. The sky unfolds, as bitter as it is in Gogol's novellas, echoing the singing of people who gather the harvest, echoing the music of those who cart stones from the field, echoing it doesn't stop.